Hello, this is Miss McCauley, and I will be teaching you how to solve equations mentally in your head. Today you're going to learn how to solve equations mentally. This means using your head. Load these notes into GoodNotes so that you can follow along and fill them out as I do. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the difference between an expression and an equation. As you can see by the little detective up here, in this step we are going to become like detectives and try to figure out what x is. x is sort of a missing piece or a variable. Sometimes it won't be x, it could be anything. Our variable could be anything. But before we do this, we need to understand the difference between an expression and an equation. Okay, An expression is simply, and you should, you should know this already from the things that you've done already in um, writing expressions and simplifying expressions, factoring expressions, but a formal definition is it is a combination of numbers and operations, that just means things we do to numbers, Mathematically, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, that kind of stuff. So a combination of numbers and operations which might contain variables. And when they contain variables, we often call them terms. That's an expression. Okay, an example of an expression might be... Let me write an example down here. An expression would just be 5 plus x minus 16. Okay, That's an expression. Now let's talk about an equation. Hopefully you notice something about the word equation. Okay, There's a part of it, that the very first part of the word, equa. Hopefully you can think of something that... Um, you could spell out with those first four letters, and it would be equal, right? So the biggest thing about equations are they contain an equal sign. This is huge. Expressions do not have an equal sign. So I'm going to write over here, no equal sign. Okay, but equations do. Okay, the other difference that you can think of is equations, the way I'm going to write this definition, it's a mathematical sentence. Oops, let me erase that. I just spelled it wrong. A mathematical... Boy, my handwriting is awful. Sorry about that, guys. A mathematical sentence showing two expressions are equal. So we must have an equal sign for it to be an equation. An example would be 5 plus x equals 13. You can see you have two expressions, 5 plus x and 13. Those are expressions, and we're showing that they are equal. Okay. If you think about it, another way to think about it in a language arts way is that it equations are considered sentences because they have equal signs. Expressions are phrases. They're not complete sentences. They don't have an equal sign. <clears throat> okay, so how are they alike? They're alike because they both have numbers and operations and they might have variables, but the way that they are dif different is that one has an equal sign and one does not. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can do to try to figure out how we might try to solve, be detectives and solve for a variable, to figure out what a variable is. So we have down here an, ex an equation that says solve 18 equals 4 plus t. What does it look like? First, let's draw it out, okay? If we pretend that we have a scale, okay, our scale must be balanced, okay? On this side, we have, and I'm going to change my colors here to green to be kind of like our algebra blocks. Over here, we have 18 Imagine we have 18 blocks. That 
it's 10, 15, 15, there's 18 is on the left side, that matches this right here. It equals 14 plus t. So on this side, this part over here goes on this side. So we have 14, there's 5, 10, 14 plus, we have t. Now we don't know what t is, so I'm going to make it similar to our french fry or our algebra block that means x or variable. And so we have this missing piece here. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to color it in. Okay, this is our missing piece. We want to be a detective and figure out what this is to make the scale balance what would we have to add to the 14 cubes to get to 18? Well, hopefully you can say to yourself, well, that's easy. It obviously would be four. If we put four more cubes over here, we would have 18 total cubes. So we would need four. Now, the great thing about algebra and what I love about it is you really shouldn't ever get these wrong. Because you, once you think you have your answer, you need to take it and plug it back into the expression or equation and figure out if it's right. So let's try that. 18 equals 14 plus 4. Is that true? Sure it is. That is correct. So we did it right. Let's go ahead and go to the next page. Okay, let's try this one. 5 plus m equals 14. So once again, let's draw a picture of what this might look like. Okay, and I'm going to use, I'm going to try to do it this way. Okay, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, plus m, right? Okay, I don't know what m is, so that's over here. It's unknown. It's our question mark. It must equal 14 on the other side. So let's go ahead and put 14 over here. 1, whoops, didn't mean to do that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so looking at this, this is pretty easy. We have five of them, right? So we have one, we have one, two, three, four, five, just like we have over here, one, two, three, four, five. Let's figure out how many more we, we need to make the rest. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how many other cubes we would need to put over here to make it a true statement. So M should be nine. Let's plug it in to make sure that that is true. Five plus nine equals 14. Is that true? Sure it is. Let's give ourselves a star for that because we did such a good job. Perfect. Okay, let's do another one together. Okay, let's see here. 21 plus x equals 27. Okay, so let's draw it out again. Okay, we're going to have on this side, the left side is 21. Oops, I didn't mean to do a star. Okay, let's try that again with a square to represent my blocks. Okay, one, two, whoops. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There's my 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Let's make sure that's right. Yep, okay, so 21 plus x, right? So plus x, we don't know what he is, must equal 27 on the other side. So let's go ahead and put 27 on the other side. Okay, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm getting pretty fast at this, aren't I? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. That's what it would look like. So now, the easiest way to figure out what x is, is to let's go through and let's cross off 21 to figure out how many we would need. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. How many are left that we did not cross off? We have one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think x should be six. Let's test it out. 21 plus six equals 27. Sure it does. Again, I think we deserve a big star for that. Very good job. Okay. Please answer the following question. Um, the way you were taught in the video, either show your answer to your teacher or answer the note check.